It's Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this broadcast. Uh, Bulls and Bears, we want to step away from the markets for a minute here, and we want to get back into preparation and specifically food shortages. And we've been reporting on the rising food prices happening here in the United States and across most of the globe, for that matter. Uh, some very concerning things are happening. We're going to talk about the Texas freeze today. And we're going to talk about some other strange, strange things happening. And if you thought it couldn't get any weirder, um, we have a mouse plague running over a lot of farms in eastern Australia. And we saw the locust thing happen within the last couple of years down in Africa and just all kinds of insane things happening. And a lot of people are pointing to these types of things as end time uh, signs or signals. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what your views are on that, but things are certainly strange. Let's take a look at some information here. Now, first of all, back to the U.S. here. This is out of WAPO. Texas freeze killed winter produce with some food prices expected to spike. Now, we've already been reporting on spiking food prices. And we're starting to see it now at the fast food places. Of course, in the grocery store, we've been seeing it for a while. Um, there's food insecurity in the u.s we've been seeing rising food lines in some cases miles and miles of cars people waiting for hours for a bag of food well now those food banks are concerned about these food shortages and part of this uh, this happening is the freeze that we saw in texas damage to fruits and vegetables from last week's texas storms could cause shortfalls at food banks and lead to grocery stores sourcing further away Right, so this is going to be more food being imported. The problem is, there's a lot of problems happening across the globe, and there may not be enough food to even import, considering everything that's happening. We'll talk about the mouse plague here in a few minutes. Uh, but first, a quote from this article. A farmer in Texas said, Leafy greens will probably experience the greatest losses. Some crops lost entirely. Onions and cabbage seem to suffer the least, although he said even those farmers are reporting a 20% loss overall all right so did you hear that even the the farmers that reported uh not complete losses still 20 percent losses what if we see a 20 percent spike in food prices this is not good considering the state of the average american who a big part of the u.s population now is is waiting for uh, every stimulus check to come out so they can just buy shoes in many cases but a lot of people depend on these checks just to keep food on the table and now uh, possibly more food shortages are going to be um, not good. Um, San Antonio current Texas food banks anticipate fresh food shortages after February freeze devastated produce sources. Uh, CNN food banks are bracing for shortages after Texas freeze killed many of the state's produce. From this article, thousands of lines or thousands of cars lined up in a parking lot at a flea market on the city's southwest side and other distribution sites across multiple parts of the state last year, they waited for hours for bags with beans, canned goods, and fresh produce and milk. The food bank adjusted, stretching its resources and strengthens partnerships with farmers and growers. Then a disaster within a disaster hit the state. Water outages and extensive blackouts forced families to sleep in frigid homes and cars, scavenge for a hot meal, Forge medical treatment and use melted snow to flush the toilet. All right, so that gets into a little bit of how these families dealt with the freeze, the deep freeze there in Texas. But regarding food insecurity, food shortages, and rising food prices, this is very, very concerning. All right, we're already seeing rising, fly, uh, rising prices. And when you see things like this with more food devastation, uh, we know it's only going to lead to higher food prices. So what I'm doing is I'm ramping up my uh, purchases of canned goods. And what you do is you buy some canned goods, even though you may not need it today. Uh, when it starts to get close to expiration within six months, say, start integrating that into your daily uh, meals. Start putting it in with your dinners. Um, but you have to be kind of organized and put the older stuff, you know, close to the front and the newly purchased stuff close to the back of wherever you're storing it. That way there's easy access to the the food that's going to expire first and that's something that i need to do i need to rearrange my uh my food that i have in my garage and and my shed 
And this food insecurity that we're seeing in the U.S. is likely to get worse as prices rise. And this was a report that came out a few months ago. We talked about this. This is an NPR article. And uh, this was even a few months ago. It's likely to get worse. But uh, nearly one in four households have experienced food insecurity this year. And even before the infection hit, about 10% of all U.S. households faced food insecurity. And it got even worse, of course, with everything that happened in 2020. Now it's one in four. So 25% of households food insecurity, according to this article. And now let's go out to Australia. And this is disturbing and it's affecting a lot of farms in eastern Australia, especially. It's a mouse plague of biblical proportions. And we're going to show you some videos that, in my opinion, are pretty disturbing. So. If you're easily grossed out or creeped out, you may want to tune away from this right now. All right, this is an infestation. Let's take a look at this video here. And it's not just the farms, they're also coming into people's houses more um, in this part of the, uh, the country there. Here's one in a furnace vent, it looks like. He's staring at me in our thing, vent. Like a little baby one. Uh, pretty creepy. Uh, people are setting traps and just catching hundreds and hundreds of hundreds at a time. Uh, here's a disturbing picture of one of the catches here uh, at somebody's residence. Um, just absolute insane things happening. Uh, so can it get any stranger, folks? I don't know, but I am afraid of uh, what's going to be coming down the road here. And it could be very, very soon. Uh, try to ramp up your preparations here on food. Uh, fresh water, get yourself a water purifier if you can. Um, we know that food is going to continue to go higher. The prices, uh, gas is really starting to spike as well. And that's uh, going to get very, very difficult uh, for more people. And we're seeing more devastating job losses. We're going to have the new uh, weekly jobless filing come out tomorrow. Of course, we're going to be here to talk about that. But uh, let me know what you think about this, this uh, mouse plague, the food shortages, the freeze, uh, the spiking food and gas prices, um, the need for more frequent stimulus checks. Uh, where's all this headed and uh, how are you preparing? I'd be really uh, interested to hear from you uh, down in comments. Thank you for everybody for your engagement in this channel, for your comments, for your feedback. Uh, thank you so much for being here in this broadcast, everybody. Stay well, stay safe, stay prepared. Bye for now. Peace.